I'm Kate of one of a Kate. And I woke up like this. Okay, the hubs is watching football now. So I have come into my dungeon, my closet slash yarn space slash makeup space. Excuse the mess, I'm still moving in. So um, you'll be learning about me more as the videos go on if you don't know me already. I have decided that I am going to go ahead and make socks. I have been convinced to buy Alana knits, although I would prefer to make like a cowl or a scarf. Um, I'm going to try socks and I'm going to try cuff down this time. I didn't plan on doing any like, um, I can't get over it. I didn't plan on doing any accents of like the toe, the cuff, or the heel, but I think I'm gonna look through my stash and see if I have something that can complement that. I might go, well, what are the contents of this? This is 80% superwash merino and 20% nylon. So hopefully I have something in my stash. I'll look and I'll show you. This will also be my first self-striping yarn to work with. And I think that it should make the sock experience a bit more fun for me. I decided on using the same yarn that I used for my first set of socks as my accent for the cuffs and the heel and the toe. That's going to look so good together, right? The light is kind of wash washing it out. But look at that. Oh. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, so Alana got me the um, fish lips ki fish lips kiss heel. Fish lips kiss heel. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, pattern, and so. I browsed through it and there are a lot of tips and one of them is to make like a template of your foot with cardboard so I'm trying that this time not that my first sock didn't fit my first sock fit amazingly but I did make them shorties and I did them toe up and so I noticed that they'd always keep falling and so I don't really like to wear them like with shoes or anything a lot. This time I'm gonna try cuff down and I'm gonna make them like taller. never done cuff down so and, and the class I took was for a toe up so I am going to check out Nitty Natty's video of cuff down so what we're gonna do is hang on to one of these needles I'm gonna push this one down 
and we're gonna pull the other one out because we only cast onto two needles so that we would have a nice long stitch so it'll be stretchy when we get to the cuff. So I'm just gonna grab and slowly pull onto this cord over here, making sure that I'm pulling out the correct needle. So as I pull that out, 